Hey guys, I am trying out my first ever firing of my microwave kiln. We're going to see if we can get this to cone 04 um, and see how long it takes. So I have some little fiber um, paper here uh, that I got with the kiln um, and uh, I got two different types. And then I'm going to need to put this onto a kiln shelf because I can't just stand the cones straight up. So we're going to try this out. And here's the fiber paper that I have. It's got a front and a back. You can see the little label on the back that says which side goes down. Um, so I will put that down. I'll put my little cone. I'm going to do a cone 04 and I'm going to just set it on its side. Is this an accurate way to do it? No. Is it better than nothing? Yes. Is it what I can do? Yes. So that's what we're going to do and we'll see how this goes. All right. We'll put this into the kiln. We'll get that little lid on. And I'm going to try this in uh, three minute increments. All right, we'll fast forward through that. And magically three minutes later, um, not a lot has happened, um, but there is definitely like kind of some steam floating around in there. Made some funny noises. Six minutes later and there's no noises. Um, so that's cool. Let's see how we're doing on the inside. Oh, it's just making a little bit of smoke. I think it's mostly just off-gassing from the very first time it being fired. Um, it is a little stinky, so I would recommend doing this, especially for the first time that you're doing it, doing it outside of your house, not in your kitchen. Not much is happening. However, I do feel the heat. Um, it's not like I can totally still touch it with my hands, but I rather just keep wearing gloves because why the heck not? 12 minutes in, let's see what's going on. Ooh, we're getting a little bit of heat. That's very exciting. Okay, 15 minutes in. Red heat, we still got a little bit of um, off gassing that seems to be going on. I saw some beautiful glow. But no cold ball. 18 minutes in, let's see what we got. We are definitely getting more red heat. There's still a little bit, it's like a little bit dark around the edges of the cone. So like the inside's getting really nicely done and the outside not so much. Okay, 21 minutes in. I feel like we're getting close, guys. We're getting really close. Ooh, look at that glow. That's very exciting. Um, but still, the cone hasn't moved yet. Try it for another three. 24 minutes in. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, gorgeous glow. Still no bend. Feel like we're just a second away. 20 minutes, 27 minutes and done. Um, so that is a nice little melted cone there. I think that this would have gone a lot faster if I wasn't doing it every five seconds. So let's try this again and just go straight. Um, I'm going to try 20 minutes through, but this time I'm going to put a little stilt on the inside of the microwave because I did notice that the plate, the glass plate was getting kind of hot. Now that's a really high temperature um, plate, but I'm still going to go to 04. Um, I don't think that the plate will melt, but I don't think we need to like make anything's life harder in this. Also, um, it's good to have a couple of stilts so that when you take it out of the microwave and have to set it down on something, um, you are setting it down on not like your table or even a hot plate. It's, a, it's hotter than that. Um, so get yourself a couple of stilts. I think that's a really good idea. And now I need to figure out how to set this microwave for 20 minutes, um, which I did check my power level. So we're at 10. Um, and now I figured out how to type in 20 into a microwave. Good job, me. And then I'll see you in 20. 
And 20 minutes later, let's see what we got going on. I have my stilt out ready to accept my new hot thing. And it is hot for the win, guys. 20 minutes. Okay, that's it. Let's go try to fire some real stuff. Bye.